Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use masking by using the remove background tool and some layers to create this cool visual effect which adds depth and creates interest. So let's jump into it. As usual, we'll just start with a new blank presentation. Make sure the layout is on blank. So the first thing we'll do is get our image that we're going to use as the mask. And we'll go to insert, pictures, stock images. And we'll type dog. And this image will work well because it will provide good contrast. And I can see straight away where I might want the text to be masked. And now we can crop it to the full screen. So I'm going to click on it, choose picture format, crop, aspect ratio, and choose 16 to 9 because that's our ratio of the screen. And if I hold down shift, I can move it to wherever I want to crop it to, which is about there. Now, if I drag, it will snap to the top left corner. And then if I hold on to the bottom right corner point and drag it, I can lock it to the bottom right corner. And there's our full screen image. I'm now going to add my text, click a text box, type dog, change the font to Poppins, bold, 200 point, drag this out, align it to the middle, change the text to white, and then I'm going to add a shadow. So I'll start off with an outer shadow, and I'll just increase the blur and the distance to 10 to add quite a strong shadow. This is about where I want my mask to be. So we're now going to click on the background image of the dog, press Ctrl D to duplicate, align it back so it's exactly on the top of the other image. And we're now going to show you how you can use the remove background tool to create the mask. We'll go to picture format and we'll just click remove background. And what this is doing is PowerPoint is trying to work out which part of the background you want to keep and which you don't. Sometimes it will do a really good job straight away and other times it's quite random and you can just paint in with these two tools up here, mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove. So I want to add some extra areas to keep, so I'll click on mark areas to keep and then you can just roughly paint it in and the computer will actually do the work for you. It doesn't have to be exact. you can see it's doing a pretty good job when I just paint over it roughly with the pen. It's working out pretty well what I'm going to keep. So when you click keep changes we now have a layer over the top and if you want to add some animation to this be aware that this image is over the top. I'll just drag it so you can see. So if you wanted to click on the dog text to add some animation we could do it in a couple of ways and one good thing to know is that you can go to Arrange, Selection Pane, and then you see the three things you have. And I can even rename them. So this is my dog mask. This is my dog background. And this is my text. So I can just turn off the dog mask visibility for a second. Then I can go to Animations, Add Animation, motion path. That's pretty much what I want. We'll just reverse the path direction so it comes from underneath. I'm going to go to the animation pane and I'm going to select a smooth end. I'm going to take the timing down to one second, back to the selection pane and turn on the top layer. Now when we play, it's nearly there, but when adding a motion path, you often want to start it off as not visible. And the way to do that is to click on the text box, go to animations, add an animation, in this case just a fade would do. And when we go into the animation pane, I like to drag the actual motion path underneath and select start with previous. So all that will do is when I click now, the text will fade on and move at the same time. So let's play that. That's great. Just going to show you another quick example 
to show you again how the remove background works. Insert, pictures, stock images, type panda. This is the one we want to use. I'm going to go to crop, aspect ratio, 16 to 9. Again, we'll drag it up into the top, pull out the corner handles. This one's got some colour in it, so I'm going to show you another way how you can easily take the colour out. You can right click, format picture, go over to where it shows the landscape and the sun here, picture, picture colour, and put the saturation on naught. That will just take all the colour out straight away. Now we can add our text. I'm going to type panda, make it white, pop ins again, bold, size it up. That should be about right. I'm just going to place it about there. Now we click on our panda background, control D to duplicate, move it back into the right place. So now we can click picture format, remove background, see how it does. That's pretty good to start with. But you can click green to mark areas to keep. For example, we might want to add this in if it's if the animation is coming from here and if the mask is coming from here. And then we can click keep changes. So now if we go to the selection pane, again, picture four is our top image I'll call panda mask. Picture two is our background. And this is our text. So we might want to move our text slightly out of the way. And if we wanted to animate it, we'll do as before, where we can go to a line animation. We'll choose left. We'll choose reverse path direction. One second, click on the animation pane, double click, choose a smooth end. And then we just need to make sure that it fades on at the same time as we did in the previous one. So we'll go to add animation, fade. Again, I like to drag the movement underneath the fade and then choose start with previous. So if I play that, that's great. So a really quick way of using remove background to create a mask, to add some depth and create interest. And you can apply this to all sorts of images and make some great effects with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.